Not all the fighting in the U.S. Civil War necessarily took place in the U.S. Example. We're going back to 1864 when Civil War was all the rage in the United States. A Confederate ship, the CSS Florida, was heading down to South America needing repairs and running out of coal. Aboard her were 145 men under the command of Charles Morris. They decided to go ahead and stop in the port of Salvador as they traveled along the Brazilian coast. It's in the state of Bahia, hence the name of the incident. However, a Union ship, the USS Wachusett, under the command of Napoleon Collins was also nearby and in the night on October 4th, Collins sent a boat to approach the Florida, the men on board calling out to the Confederates asking the name of their ship. They responded that it was the Florida and when they asked the same question, Union soldiers lied and claimed to be from a British ship. I should probably add that the Wachusett was out of sight at that point and, you know, it was dark because it was night. The next morning, the Wachusett moved to the entrance of the bay, the Florida having already taken port, and Morris met with the local authorities, who gave him safe harbor for two days and explained that the Brazilian Navy would intervene if either side fired on the other. It was also recommended that Morris move the Florida closer to a neighboring Brazilian ship, which Morris did. Collins sent several letters to the Florida, though they were ignored. Morris wasn't looking for a fight, but he was willing to have one just outside a Brazilian water. Waters. You know, that kind of makes sense. Fast forward to early in the morning of October 7th, and the Wachusett pulled anchor and began heading towards the Florida, firing on the Confederates as they approached. Now, Morris and more than half of the crew were ashore sleeping, so the Florida was undermanned, but they still began to fire their muskets at the Wachusett, who continued to fire at the Florida, including cannon fire, which did little damage, but due to the darkness, the aim wasn't that great. Colin then ordered his ship to ram the Florida, which also did very little damage, but it did allow a Union boarding party to flood onto the Florida and take the ship. Collins then had the two ships tied together and began to tow his prize out of the harbor. It was at about that time that the local fortification, Fort Santa Maria, began to open fire on the Wachusett. And seeing a Brazilian ship heading towards him while also firing, Collins ran away as quickly as possible and headed back to the U.S. So this incident, of course, caused issues with Brazil, but the Union didn't really care. Collins was court-martialed because of his act of warfare against a neutral country, but he was never relieved of duty. Basically, the Union's response to the Brazilian government, who wanted Collins punished and the Florida returned to them, was to diplomatically tell them to go screw themselves. This did not do much to improve relations with Brazil, and it's a wonder why the Brazilian government weren't too much against the flood of Confederates that moved to Brazil after the end of the war. And it should be added that this wasn't the only Civil War naval battle to take place in foreign waters. The Battle of Cherbourg took place off the coast of France with the CSS Alabama being sunk. Oh, and as far as the CSS Florida was concerned, she was intentionally sank, possibly to just get rid of it, possibly so that they didn't have to give it to the Brazilians. Not that Brazil's navy really needed the ship. I mean, come on, they had a Brazilian of them. 